Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode. Welcome to another episode of Gamecock Talk with Captain Will. I'm your man, Captain Will. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe to Gamecock Talk with Captain Will so I can continue to bring in that gospel. Gamecocks every single day. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are now rocking with the best. This is your rocking with the best. Come rock with your man, Captain Will. We got to go with today, y'all. I said we got a good one today, y'all. We are talking about we are talking about the uh, five takeaways, five takeaways as we go forward to take on the Michigan Wolverine women's basketball team on Monday. Monday night is finally here. Basketball is right, 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 right around the corner, right around the corner. And Vegas, here we come. There's going to be a Garden and Black takeover going down all over the city of vegas follow me on twitter at gamecocks talk follow me on instagram at gamecocks talk with captain will follow me wherever you get your podcasts all right so first takeaway first takeaway for me is accentuate your strengths accentuate your strengths which i believe is our guard play i think we have the most versatile unique guard rotation in the country we hear so much about other teams and their individual superstars. We hear so much about Juju. We hear so much about Paige. We hear so so, so much about Hannah and Rory. Uh, so many we see we hear it's it's almost like overload because it's, it's repetitive. Same thing over over over. What Carolina has is completely different. Completely different. It, 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 it's, it's an overwhelming wave of guard. Same talent, same talent. All, all the guards are, you know, five-star recruits, just like the other superstars uh, across the board. It's just different, different. If we want to score the basketball, I mean, we could have a rotation of full Wiley and Powell. Nobody's guarding full Wiley one-on-one. No one shoots the basketball as well as Taking a pow pow, it just is it, not possible. And in terms of defense, we, we we have Raven, who is the best perimeter defender in the conference. You have Full Wiley, who's the second best perimeter defender in the conference. Okay, if we talk about leadership, we, we I mean Raven going for a third championship, Bree going for a third. Championship, pow, going for a second championship in her fifth year, could have easily went to the WNBA and been drafted. Floor generalship, you have Raven Johnson, who's the best uh, pass first point guard in the country, the best true point guard in the country. There's so many different ways that you can, we, we, we can hit you with guards. So I think we should accentuate those strengths going into Michigan. Another thing. Number two, shoot the three-point basket more. Like, Kat, what you talking about? I'm just giving it real. South Carolina was number two in the country in terms of three-point percentage at 40%, 39.5% if you want to be exact, 40%, okay? Our three-point attempt rate was 319th in the country. I know that Camila Cardoza was the focal point of our offense last year. She was the dominant big. The ball went to her first. and We fed off of that. Camila Cardoza is in the W. Right now she's playing in China. Okay. I just talked about how versatile our guards are. I want our girls to shoot the three-point basket more. I want a situation where we go from 319th in attempts to just midway, 150th in the country. So you're talking about going from about 25% to 34%. What that means is last season, Last season, we shot 
643 point attempts out of 2,550 field goal attempts. This year, just using the same amount of field goal attempts from last season, I want 227 more. 227 more, which will give us a total of 100, uh, 867 three point attempts for the season. Now, we can go in and estimate that we're going to play 35 to 38 games this season. 38 and 0 would be amazing once again. So when you do the math, taking that account, that's not asking for a whole lot more threes per game. Mm -mm. But what it would do, there'll be 227 more opportunities for top. Okay? 227 more opportunities for uh, uh, um, uh, test. You know, we shot about 44%. I shot 47%. 227 more opportunities for Bree, who shot 39% for three. And oh, yes, the person that folks in national media and stuff who can't shoot, uh, Ravens Johnson shot 35% for three. Better than a host of these quote unquote top players. More opportunities for her as well. I think we should lean into this all the way in regard to our guards in regards to our guards. That's dope. I like that. And there's nothing wrong with being different. That brings me to the third point. Embrace the different. No Kabila, no Ashland, no problem. We've been here before when there was no Aaliyah Boston. Remember that? There was doom and gloom and national media, like what the hell gonna happen? There was no uh, 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 Angel Wilson. No Elena Coates, and I hate that Elena Coates sometimes get lost in the wash, but she was a top three overall pick and was dominant in South Carolina as well. And she's not mentioned when we talk about dominant bigs at the University of South Carolina. We've been there before over and over again, and we're here again. So if, if, if there's no Kabila, no Ashland at this point, Ashland, hopefully we're coming back to the team. There's more opportunities for other five-star talents because it's not like the the, the – the, the, the bigs that we ha we have aren't good. The bigs that we have are amazing talents and would be starters and stars at other universities. Sonia Vega was number four overall, overall recruit this up senior year. She's on a on multiple watch list. I expect her to do very well this year. Miriam Dodd is a transfer from Arkansas, six foot four, was third in block shots from Arkansas. I expect her to do well. Fagan is six foot three. Dodd is six foot four. Okay, Joyce, we've seen so much of her over these two exhibition games. What we saw is double-doubles. What we saw is strength. What we saw is passing. What we saw is dominance. What we saw was free throw attempts and made. What we saw is when she gets on the floor, everyone looks better. Adele Tack. Adele, in short stints, looked amazing. Looked amazing. Joyce is six foot three. Adele Tack is six foot five. And don't forget about Sakima Walker, who's going into a fifth year, who's been here and been there and done it over again. There's opportunities for our basketball team with Camila and with Ashton Watkins gone. This Michigan game gives us the opportunity to solidify rotations. That's the fourth point. Solidify the rotations of this basketball team going forward. You know, this ain't uh, uh, Clayton State. This ain't Memphis. You know, Michigan is a good basketball team. They most likely will be starting three freshmen. They have multiple five-star recruits on their basketball team. They're young, but they have multiple five-star recruits on their basketball team. They're losing their leading scorer. But they were a good team last year and made it to the tournament. And we can basically say we can we can uh, almost set in stone that the start is going to be uh, for the Michigan game going to be Raven, Powell, Breezy, Chloe, Fagan. Don has said that. I don't see anything changing going into Monday night. I don't see anything changing. And that group of five is talented. All five star recruits begin with that. Is 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 uh, 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 
versatile, can play multiple positions. Yeah. Um, and a season. When you're losing just one player from the championship squad and you're turning four starters, you, you already have that continuity built in. Okay. And I don't see any 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 uh, uh mishaps with the starting group. None. I don't see any mishaps going forward with this current group. They've been playing on the same basketball team for many, many years, and and I continue and I we will continue to see that nurture and grow when the games actually matter on Monday. With that being said, um, the next I'm I'm more so about the next four who comes into the basketball game. So we've seen the first two off the bench before Wiley and Joy. I expect the same thing to happen on Monday. I, I expect the first two people to come off the bench for the University of South Carolina will be Raven, excuse me, will be Malaysia Full Wiley and will be Joyce Edwards. I believe Full Wiley will come in and uh, for Tina Pop out. And I believe that Joyce will come in for Fayette. And that will they will get their burn, they will get their run, and we'll see how that uh five go. A couple minutes later, I envision Tessa coming in for Chloe. Or should I say Tessa coming in for Bree and Chloe going out for Miriam Dotter. Those are my four players who I see coming in. And I think Don will, 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 will lean into those nine players for this basketball game. Of course, I, I, I think we're going to see some Adele Tack. I think we're going to see some, you know, I think everybody's going to play to, to some regard, but those nine are going to be the focal point of minutes. Minutes distribution is so important for me for this basketball game. Because I'm not even going to ask the question, can Joyce do what she did in the exhibition? Yes, she can. She will. I expect Joyce to play over 20 minutes on Monday night. Um, I want to see more of cohesion. So we've seen some disjointedness. Uh, Don Staley said in her press conference that, you know, all everyone could be starters, which is true. Everyone could be starters, and she said they could actually play better if they were starters. I think that the assigned roles and knowing what time you're going to come in for the rotation is going to be very important for this basketball team going forward. Because not many teams are going to have a situation where they can bring in four five-star talents onto the squad and switch out like a old hockey ship. And then we can throw in, you know, multiple others. Because because we, we, we throw in you know, um, Adele and Maddie, uh, the, the abundance of talent is just overwhelming for this basketball team. And speaking of Adele and Maddie, my fifth point is Adele played great during her sh minutes. You know, she showed her size. She showed her skill. She showed her blocking uh, shot ability. She showed her defense. She showed her ability to score around the basket. She showed that she can hit free throws. She can rebound the basketball. All great things. I love all of it. It was just in short stints. How much will we see of Adele Tapp on Monday? How much will we see? I, I'm, I'm curious about that. I'm curious about Maddie. She didn't play in either one of the uh, exhibition games. You know, she had some cleaning up some stuff in her knee right before. But all signs point to do her being ready to go on Monday. How much will we see of her, who, who I believe is the point guard of the future for this basketball team? How much will we see of Sakima, who didn't play against Clayton State? This basketball team is so amazing, so impressive. 
so dominant. And I believed from last year that this basketball team that we're going to see in Vegas is the best basketball team that South Carolina has ever had. had. When Ashton Watkins joined the fray, hopefully soon, this basketball team that South Carolina is lining up could be one of the best basketball teams that have ever played women's basketball in, 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 in the history of ever. I feel that important. I feel that strong about this Gamecock basketball team. This concludes another episode of Gamecock Talk with Captain Will. I'm your man, Captain Will. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe to Gamecock Talk with Captain Will so I continue to bring you the gospel of Gamecocks every single day. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're now rocking with the best. And since you're rocking with the best, come rock with your man, Captain Will. Let's go. Did this beat?